Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I welcome you once again to this news session. Thank you for liking our videos. Thank you for subscribing to this channel for those of you who have subscribed. Thank you for reaching out to us. Thank you for liking our content and thank you for staying with us and standing by us. I appreciate you. Hello. Kindly uh, subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys. I appreciate your support. All right. Arrest those that kill your people, not those that protest against your government. Femi Fanikayode blasts Muhammad Buhari. It was reported earlier that the man who led the protest in Katsina was arrested. If you could recall that bandits invaded some communities in Katsina, killing over 40 people and cutting away foodstuffs. This sparked outrage among the people as they organized to carry out a peaceful protest against the killing of innocent people by bandits. However, this isn't the first time bandits would invade communities in the north, killing and destroying properties. The main reason the protest in Katsina was organized is to send a message to the president and the governor of Katsina state that there is something indeed happening in the state. Meanwhile, it was reported that the organizer of the protest was requested for by the police and he was allegedly transferred to Abuja, where he was placed under arrest for conducting the protest during these times. Fani Kayode has taken to his Twitter page to commend the action of the people of Katsina State and also condemned the arrest of the man that led the protest. I commend the courage of the people of Katsina and the northwestern zone of Nigeria for finding the courage to come out and express their disgust and horror at Muhammad Buhari's refusal and inability to stop the carnage that their people are being subjected to by the terrorists. I condemn the arrest of the young man that led the anti-Buhari protest in Katsina and I call for his immediate and unconditional release. President Buhari, please arrest those that kill your people and not those that criticize and protest against your cruel and incompetent government. He wrote, so guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular uh, issue? Arresting the people that are protesting, uh, does it amount to arresting those that actually you know have been killing people how can you arrest the leader of those or whoever organized the, country, the the protest what for it was a peaceful protest there was nothing like killing there was nothing like um burning of uh, properties there was nothing of loss of life there was nothing you know uh, violent about the protest so why would you uh, arrest such person when you arrest somebody who protests peacefully about the vials that are going on in his own state, then those who actually are responsible for the, 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 the banditry activities, you release or you do not even arrest them, then what have you done? That is injustice, if you ask me. So, President Muhammad Buhari needs to uh, face the truth and face you know, the, 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 the main problem and not beating around the bush or dancing around or running around, around circles. Fine, we understand that issue of COVID-19, whatever, uh, and social distancing and what have you. Yeah. But if you arrest the leader, was he the one responsible? So the president should put an end to the banditry activities in the states and in the zone, the, the, the whole of the northern zone and even the country at large instead of arresting people who come to out to protest about their lives. If that young man had been killed by those bandits, would he have been arrested? If those bandits do not have respect for the president and they come into his state and carry out their activities without fear or favor, then something is wrong somewhere. The president and the state governor needs to do their jobs. If they have done their jobs, or if they had done their jobs, then they wouldn't have been protest in the first place. 
So it is really, really sad and unfortunate that people or who are innocent are the ones who are being arrested and locked up while those who are actually committing the crimes, you know, go scot free. This is injustice, if you'd ask me. How could this be possible? How could this be done? How could this be allowed even in this uh, present generation? It is really, really sad and unfortunate, if you'd ask me. Well, let's take a few reactions and let's hear what people are saying. If I oil says, not have you have not seen anything yet. Yet they voted for death, and death shall be their portion. APC change, say Baba, and their next level. Well, the fact that you know they voted for the, the president she does not mean that they should experience this level of uh, cruelty and insecurity that they are experiencing. Put, for example, take yourself, put yourself in their in their shoes. What if you live there? So let's be human and let's, you know, be, re, be reasonable in our reactions and in our thoughts. The orator says justice delayed is justice denied. Well, it is unfortunate to arrest somebody who is protesting on things that the government are supposed to look into and find a lasting solution to. Killers who are supposed to be arrested are not. So... How do we? How does this actually make sense? Kalu Njole Emole says, Buhari, I hope the Castina State protest is organized by Nnamdi Kanu and Ipo. David Christian says, Nigeria is indivisible. Let's move Nigeria forward. No one has the monopoly to disintegrate Nigeria. In is it this? Is it the way? Shame to those that are still believing that this country will be good one day the truth of the matter is that we cannot give up on the country that we have nobody gives up on his own let's be very very sincere with ourselves let's be truthful nobody gives up on his own no matter how worse things are today you just need to be hopeful that someday something will be better the right actions may not be taken or might not be the ones that are taken right now but sooner or later you know people somebody however you know there will be the right step will be taken soonest or someday. So we cannot give up on this country as far as we do not have another country that we call our own just yet. Buhari preaches one indivisible Nigeria, but all his policies, actions, that only lead to a Nigeria that is broken into pieces. It is quite sad and unfortunate, if you'd ask me. Holy Ghost Fire. Under APC government administration, led by Mr. Buhari, Abnormalities is what is normal in their own sight. There's God who, and no peace for the wicked anywhere under the sun. We all prayed that God should please send Nigerians a helper and not a leper. All right, guys. Another person says this is the gospel truth, but to come to cross check the fact, is it not the same pattern all the while? Headsmen who kill innocent people in Kaduna, Plato, Benue, Taraba, etc. Communities are left alone, while remnants in the communities are pursued, arrested, and detained. Evil spares no one permanently. All Nigerians must learn to speak and act against evil, no matter where it is coming from. Arrest those that kill people and not agitators to stop the killing. Samson Ifechuku says, the killers are protected and are free while protesters are against the law and mostly are the ones being arrested for trying to divide the country. God have mercy on these country leaders. According to you, well, because they are the killers, not the bandits, if not, will they have arrested him? Or should I say that they are afraid for the world not to see their failure as the government well, if you ask me, the world is seeing everything. If the United States, you know, have come out to air their feelings or air their views, you know, on what is going on, then you can rest assured that the whole world is aware. Before the U.S. would open their mouth to comment, they have been observing for quite some time. So the whole world is aware of what is going on. They can no longer hide it. Buhari can no longer hide it. This is the 21st century where, you know, social media, the use of technology, you know, has taken over. You cannot hide any evil, except it does not see the light of social media. 
or technology. It is sad, guys. Well, drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.